Hello everyone, we are back with another video. As promised, here's a vlog about our new tent. We have also decided to share with you our current camping setup and our camping gears. If you find this interesting, then keep on watching. This is what it looks like at the back. You can actually open this all the way and put a pole. You have to make sure that all of this is secured. Because it seems like this entire inner tent here. This entire inner tent seems like something you can actually take off if you just want this to be like a regular like picnic tent without this have now reached the portion of the vlog where I'll be showing you around our camping setup and also showing you our camping gears. Here we go! So let's go ahead and start with my husband's corner. This is his grilling station. I usually put a small Thor box beside him so that he'd have a small table just to put some of his stuff on. We also placed a lantern pole in here so that he'd have enough light when he's doing his grilling. Naisip ko din maglagay ng lantern dito, but I know naman it's not gonna be enough for him to actually see, you know, what he's cooking, kung sunog na nga ba yan. So I've also decided to add a rechargeable LED light in here. I got this from Shopee, it's only around 200 something pesos, and it lasts for more than 24 hours on low mode. Now this is a collapsible garbage bin. Nakasabit lang siya dito kasi kakahugas lang sa kanya. We usually place this underneath the table so that we can easily throw small stuff in there. Okay, dito naman po tayo sa main event. Let's start sa labas muna. As you can see, I have placed several solar lights at the end of each skyline. Hindi lang dahil sa maganda siya tuwing gabi, pero this also helps in avoiding yung mga patiran and big tea and session kapag naglalakad ang mga tao sa gabi. So yeah. I have multiple light sources. I have string lights, LEDs, hurricane lanterns, and lamps. I have several hurricane lanterns. Let's start with this one. This is from my sister's in-laws and it's more than 40 years old. So, mas matanda pa sa akin to. They decided na they just wanted to also give me this one since they aren't using it anyway. 
Now, this is my very first fire hand or fewer hand. Since my sister is aware of my crazy addiction over camping, when she and her husband recently spent the holidays at Germany, she decided to get me this. But wait, there's more. Because you can never really have too many lanterns, here's another one. I got this from a fellow camper in Car Camping Philippines. This ginormous lantern na mas malaki pa ng konti sa 1.5 liters ng coke, nabili namin to sa Unimart Green Hills. Another pailaw that I have would be these vintage looking lamps. I got these from another Boodle Master, well, seller from Car Camping Philippines. I also have ones from Bare Bones. This is the Edison Mini Lantern. While this other one is its bigger brother, the Railroad Lantern, also from Bare Bones, I have this set up in a way that it's hanging from a cocaine tripod. This look is heavily influenced by a master camper in Car Camping Philippines. Hindi na po natin babanggitin na pangalan niya. When you join the group, you'll know. Moving on, dito pa rin tayo sa labas. Our latest purchase would be this sampayan. Charat. We actually saw this from a fellow camper the last time that we got together over at Campwell River Valley. Not only is it functional, but it becomes one of the places where you can actually hang your lantern and it would complement the entire vibe and feel of your setup. Over here naman, we have our storage boxes from Thor. We have the 75 liters and two 22 liter um, boxes. We can definitely say that these are pretty durable and it's also rainproof. So even if you leave them outside, you'd have no problem. We also got mini folding chairs from Daiso and dyan namin pinapatong itong mga storage boxes namin so that when it rains, don't get as messy. We also got a bigger folding chair also from Daiso and that's what we use as a stand para sa water dispenser naman namin. So this is our kitchen area. Well, I like everything to be within reach, so medyo masikip yung itsura niya. We're still in the process of moving things around, so most likely magbabago pa yung itsura na to in the future. We got this water dispenser from Shopee. It's 10 liters and it's pretty durable naman. No leaks. So ito naman, this is a tableware, kitchenware, storage bag organizer. You, you can roll this up and at the same time, you can also hang this sa gilid, sa side, parang may velcro siya dyan. And we also got yung mga mini versions ng kitchenware, mga, mga tong, spatula, the ones that it can actually fit in here. Okay, let's go inside naman. This picnic mat, we got it from Nature Hike as well as this chair. Here is my kitchen area. Huh? This over right here is um, recommended. Recommended. Recommended by ano, um, a fellow camper. Again, I'm going to tell you about the box. Sabi niyo, ako na naman. Um, we decided to, to, to purchase this specific um, stove because it already has a parang yung windproof, windproofing thing. But this is not temper guaranteed when the wind is really strong. You might still, we still sometimes use yung, yung cover niya. This camper field box is the same one that we use as our kitchen table. Because it's easy to get the things that you have inside just by opening it from here. Yeah. Okay, ito, ito din. Lagi lang nakalabas siya. Itong gooseneck kettle. Huh? Inta lang naman ng tubig. Pero kasi mahilig magkape si Fabi. So, ito. Sa gilid lang. O diba? Yung mga pawine, yung mga soda, at bygone if needed lang naman. Cooler is right here. So here, yung mga gadgets and stuff. Mga lights, chargers, cables, bear, power bank. So we have a speaker. This is something that we don't really use a lot. We only use it at night. Kasi parang mas nakakatulog ako kapag ano. Kapag yung may relaxing background music. Hindi ko alam kung bakit hindi ako nare-relax sa actual sound of nature. Yung mga cricket, cricket, at saka, ayun. Ano lang. Anyway, the dispenser nila. I usually don't put their food here kasi pag ma mabilis you know, lang gamin. Which reminds me, okay, let me just, let me just show you this. Okay. So this is something that I you, uh, I created. Oh, I created! Oh, diba? A concoction for driving away ants. Sarap. So I usually spray in the perimeter for uh, every couple of you know, hours. Umpisan ko muna sa ano ang composition nito. I'm so excited. Mahirap. Isang kamay lang gamit. Yan. Ang composition niya ay essential oil. Kahit sino maka-amin ito, sobrang tutubasan ako kasi ang bango-bango nito. So, this is a mixture of lemon, citronella, peppermint, tea tree, and lavender. 
Actually, ang ants repellent lang naman. Ang alam ko talaga is really peppermint and lemon. Or maybe even tea tree. I just added citronella and lavender kasi I, I also want just the same bottle to drive away mosquitoes. What's good about this is this is something that you actually you can actually spray in areas where you'd have your food as well. Na hindi ka mga This is chemical. So this is all natural essential oils. Ang composition nito is Take the 20 drops, or 20 ba or 15 or something, basta. Drops of each essential oil and water. And in order for the oil, essential oil and water to mix, you'd add a pinch of salt. Oh yeah, really cool. So, sinaspray spray ko din ito. Ito mga alaga ko dito. Yan, sinainta. So, one more thing I'd like to share with you is that inside our storage box where we have our food, this is actually a suggestion uh, from my husband. We use half a cotton pad, yan, and we put a couple of drops of either lavender, peppermint, or lemon, yung mga ayan ng mga ants, and then we put it inside the storage box here, so that aside from the spray that we constantly use, like for every couple of hours we spray here, that's how we usually keep ants away from our food. Whenever we would eat anything, halimbawa, or we would give these babies their dog food, ganyan, they would eat it off of here. After that, we make sure that we clean it and we spray ant spray na naman to make sure na walang ano, walang maaamoy at walang matatrace yung ants, di ba? I actually have four of this only because this is such a great bargain. And I use, I just put, okay, well, dito, meron ako isang nakalagay dito. Kasi since this is my kitchen area, hindi uubra sa akin yung mga lantern, lantern, lamp lang ng mga ilaw, diba? So, kailangan really good source of light. So, this, turn this on. S super mailaw talaga siya. Kasi medyo bulog-bulog kapag sa unang ano siya. Maximum, low light, and dancing light. Shut <laughs> up. Anyway, usually, um, put extras here. Halimbawa, pupunta kami doon sa area na yun. That's where we usually wash our dishes. So, since walang light banda doon, we would just take one of these and then isabit namin siya puno doon katabi ng sink. Pag magsit 3 days, 2 nights ka, talagang may experience mo yung konting slightly in it um, during 12 noon until maybe 3 p.m. So, yeah, it's really good to have um, a source of Hangin. A source of what? Okay. So, ito. Tuwan-tuwan naman ako dito. I originally wanted a Soto um, pocket torch. Kaso, medyo matagal siya dumating. So, a fellow camper uh, happens to have this on hand. So, ayan. And, you know, ever since we started camping, ang mga trip ko ng mga kulay, you know, army green, you know, khaki, brown. And ito, mga recent purchase din lang namin from the pitan, ang mga kakahuyan, just to kind of have that, you know, vibe. Hindi ka pala nabanggit. This is what I also use. Ang pinaka source of light for the entire tent, itong, paano ba ito? Itong ano na ito? Yan, ito, yan. Itong parang Christmas lights. So, yeah, this is uh, powered by a power bank. Okay, and then just look at the tent then. And see how much space we have. My baby's sleeping. Kanya kanya. Pinaglilagyan ko sila ng mga mosquito patch. Hindi ba? So, ito. Hala, may bagwa sa gitna. Bagwa! <laughs> Hindi. Salamin lang po yan. That's me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not sure kung ako lang ba, pero I'm quite bothered na the entire camping trip, I don't normally get to see what I look like. So, I decided to just, you know, with the help, oh yeah, <laughs> with the help of lantern um, holders, para at least may gitong sa ilum dyan. Pabulhubuli mo na lang siya pag gumag. <laughs> Ganun. So, again, focusing on how big this tent is. So happy. Ah, ito pala. So, dito kasi tinatali. Ayan. Tapos, yung end of yung power power bank andun sa nakalaylay lang siya doon sa sleeping area naman we are currently using an air mattress um we were gifted with a comforter from my husband's brothers and it's an old cushion so we're using an air mattress from Decathlon we're using a foot pump it would usually take me around 6 minutes to completely pump air in this baby according to fellow campers Ano talaga, ang pinakamaganda para sa kanila na sleeping setup would be using yung Nature Hikes self-inflating um, mattress. It's really pricey. So, parang na, nanginayang kami pero at the same time, they would always say na 
sobrang priceless yung pagtulog mo during camping. So, we might eventually save up for it. But, we'll see. Ang sarap ng tulog ng mga to. Kala mo sila may ari ng tenta lang. O, oh, mapunta tayo dito. Okay. So, I've decided... Ay, pinakasapit pa. So, I've decided to also place another lantern holder here. Ito. Ano to? <laughs> Alam ko hindi na napapanahon. Pero sabang cute kasi nito. Tingnan nyo siya. Diba? Look at that. But, yeah. I've decided I will use this forever. Kahit may na Christmas. Ah, baka naman ako harap doon. Ito, ito yung harap. Ayan, diba? Ang cute-cute lang niya. Paandarin na natin. For the sake of po, paandarin ko lang siya. O, diba? Ang saya-saya lang niya. Nabili ko to actually after Christmas. Hindi na siya umabot. <laughs> but I don't care. Maganda ang airflow sa tent na ito. Kasi merong malaking entrance sa harap and at the same time, meron ka din dito sa likod. Since we're going on a three-day camping trip, we thought of using an additional cooler. The first cooler would be our main cooler. It'll have everything that we need on our first day and up until the first half of our second day. This second cooler, we're gonna make sure that we don't open it. It is to make sure that we keep all the ice and our food preserved up until we need it already. Yung binili pala namin um, variant would be the ones na may skirt. So, look, ano skirt? Parang sa skirt? Pa skirt, skirt pa yan. I guess this is something that would help uh, kapag when it rains. Oh, one last thing. Okay, before we go around the outside part of the tent, I did not mention na this area right here does not have uh, of does not have basta, yun. So we decided to purchase a ground sheet that will cover the entire area of the tent. Kahit yung part na walang ito tang kasi, kasi dapat ano tayo parang wala, wala na to. We got ano yung ano 5 by 5 meters is enough. May measurement naman when you actually purchase yung tent. So yeah. So this is what the tent looks like. Ayan. This is what the tent looks like. Sa bandang likod. Ito naman. Okay. Tada! Surprise! Tapos, if you have an extra pole, you can choose to use a pole and then set it up in a way para ma-cover yung certain parts ng room na to. Pero still have this area open. For shade, kumbaga. So, yeah. Yeah.